Hi, uh, Skano. I want a cook castle. Who's new on Sagate to our game now? Not a yoni, Nigi shout there. Got your cone, no Nigi winds out there. Uh, I have lots of things to say about, um, you know, what's going on with the government today and. And, um, you know, I have great concerns, as I mentioned, that, you know, we have seven generations to look forward to. And that we're supposed to be able to provide for them what we have today. You know, and that was the vision of people before us. And, you know, just just alongside of Pete's story, there's, uh, you know, a long time ago, my mom told me the story that, she said that um, the Creator brought the non-native man and sat him down across from the fire, just like we have here. And not on the other side was the native man. And he sat him down together and the Creator put sticks in front of them, put a pile of sticks there, put a pile of sticks over there for the non-native for the non-native and the native man. And then and the, as soon as the sticks hit the ground, the native, the non-native man picked them up and start making things and fashioning all kinds of things with it. But the native man, the non-native man sat there and he looked at those sticks and he just looked at them and appreciated what was put before him. He never tried to build anything, he just appreciated, had a great appreciation for what the Creator put before him. And, and today we still see that happening. That we have this great appreciation for our environment because as I mentioned earlier, that we are the host. The Creator gave us that this land to take care of, to make sure that those things are, are taken care of regularly. And that's why we have ceremonies. And it's not just about us when we do our ceremonies, it's about everybody. We give thanks to the Creator for providing us with this beautiful country, for this beautiful Mother Earth that we live on, that all our resources are available for us, that we would never ever have the need to want for anything because everything comes at a seasonal time to produce those fruits and those gardens and those trees that, that bring the sap everything, the animals and the birds, they're all working together to bring about this peacefulness and, and the, you know, the, the bountifulness from this earth. They work together. They communicate to each other. You know, they encourage each other. They have great compassion for each other. And when they speak to each other, that they speak with kind, caring, nurturing, supportive words. And every time, you know, something happens to the earth, like putting pavement over the earth, that the, the Mother Earth encourages those blades of grass or that medicine to come forward. And they do. And that's why we see them growing still. Because the Mother Earth loves them so much. And she's encouraging them, come on, do your work. I love you and you show your love to those people. Let them know that we're still here and that we support them. That's what she does for us every day. And how many times do we give thanks for that? How many times do we think about our mother, our foundation, what, what was given to us and her responsibility and her care that she has for us? She's still sustaining us. Even though her, her journey is, is difficult right now, She's still doing her best to take care of us and to, to embody us in her body so that we can move forward, that we can gain strength from her. From all those tributaries of water, you know, that, that she's given to us, that things could be washed away in that water, our illnesses, you know, but also support the water life that's there. You know, we see that every spring when the Mother Earth is, is, you know, being in labor again to bring forth this new environment 
we see the patches of water, which is the sweat after the land freezes again. She's in labor to bring forth all of this new life. And how do we honor that? How do we envision that in our minds? You know, she's in a crisis right now because of all the pollutants, all the, all the chemicals that they put in the water. She's in a crisis. 